Hi, welcome to our assembly. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Um, it's a really, really exciting couple of weeks in school because we are going to be doing loads and loads of work um, this next two weeks until half term about the global goals because it's important that we all have a think about it so we can see how important the global goals are in our everyday lives. Now, we've talked a lot about these in assemblies recently, and I've been showing you global goals and saying, what's the, what global goals are to do with harvest or what global goals are to do with autumn? But actually, they're to do with everything that we do in school. Everything that we do has a bit of a global goals link because we're not just people who live in Wincham. We're not just people who live in Northwich or in Cheshire. We're people who live in the world. And some of the stuff that we do is the same as some of the stuff that our friends in Kenya do, some of the uh, same as people in um, America, or Australia, or uh, Sweden, wherever. These global goals matter to all of us. So what I'm going to do in assembly today is I'm going to go through the, some of the global goals and we're going to have a little bit of a think about how what these global goals mean, because some of them are dead obvious and we, we talk about them a lot. Others seem to be a little bit trickier. So we'll have a bit of a think about which ones are going to be particularly important. OK, so what are the global goals, what they mean, how they help our planet, because it's all about our planet. So. Um, we've got this guy here. He says he's an Earth Cub. Earth Cubs is an organisation that you can find out a little bit about if you're interested. Um, it's different to the Cubs that we know, uh, like Brownies or Scouts or, or whatever. Uh, but there's a website called Earth Cubs, which has got loads of cool games on it. And it's got these characters that talk you through it. So um, right the way through this, I've got loads and loads of questions. There's loads of discussion opportunities, loads of things to talk about. So what do all these people and animals need? Have a think. OK, talk to your partner about what all of these people and animals need. What do they all have in common? OK, so I think they all need food. They all need water and they all need shelter. Food, water and shelter. So let's have a look at them again. Now, we know that people live in houses. They've got their shelter. We know we, we have food and water. But these guys have got all these really thick clothes to shelter from the cold. But what shelter might an Arctic fox need? And probably from uh, to be protected from the cold. So everybody needs these things. They all need the same basic things. And the global goals, lots of people, lots of countries got together. They decided to make a list. And this list is to protect animals, plants and people. A list to protect the whole planet to make sure that everyone has enough food, clean water, clean air and shelter. And they called this list the Global Goals. And there are 17 of them. And we can all help with these uh, with this list of Global Goals. OK, so we're going to see how it's relevant to what we do. So Global Goal 1. So no poverty. Earth Cubs believe in a fair world where everyone has what they need. Everyone should have a home, clean water and enough food. So, question to have a talk about. Do you think everyone has a home? Okay. Do you think everyone has a home? Stop and have a think about your answer. Think about what you might know about it. Okay. Right. Not everybody does have a home. The person in this photo uh, doesn't have a, a home to live in. And sadly, some people uh, will sleep outside or they might sleep in a temporary shelter because they weren't able to stay in the home that they were in and they don't have enough money to uh, buy or to rent uh, their own house. OK, so that's why we're thinking about no poverty. Global goal number two. Earth Cubs believe no one should go hungry, zero hunger, but not all people have enough food to eat. So why is food important? There's your question. Talk about it. Why is food important? Now, put your hand up if you said it helps you to be active and helps you to run around and do all those things. Put your hand up if you said it helps you to grow big and strong. Well done. Put your hand up if you said 
um, if you're not hung if you're hungry you won't be happy and you won't be able to concentrate on other things yeah it's important like we said in uh, the last couple of weeks assemblies that everybody around the world has enough food because there is enough to go around it's just not in the right places okay next ones good health and well-being something we talk a lot about at Wincham. earth cups believe in healthy body and mind and this person's keeping healthy by running eating yummy fruit but actually there's a lot to do with a healthy mind as well so we look at mindfulness activities we might talk about we've done finger breathing in the past or we might be doing yoga or our movement activities at the start of the day so share your ideas for keeping healthy in your body or share your ideas for keeping healthy in your mind as well, your mental and emotional well-being. Okay, have a think. Share your ideas as a class. Right, lots of really good ideas. Well done. Okay. Global goal four, quality education. Earth Cups believe everyone should have the opportunity to learn. And the more you learn, the more you can help yourself and the world around you. So um, have a quick chat in class. What is your favorite thing to learn about? Might be a subject, might be a particular topic. Have a chat. Okay. I always like learning when somebody tells me something that I don't know. I like it when the children at school come and tell me stuff that I, I didn't know before. And it's been really interesting talking to some of you guys um, about the facts that you've picked up. Um, and it's really nice to see how enthusiastic people are in their work. It's really, really cool. So, gender equality. Earth Cubs believe girls and boys are equal and can do anything. We've got a, um, a girl who loves playing football, someone who identifies a, as a boy, can love ballet and dancing. Now, are things always fair and equal for boys and girls? Okay, have a chat in class, see what you think. Are things always equal and fair for boys and girls? Okay. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes, uh, sometimes they're not. Uh, sometimes um, adults uh, uh, might have uh, jobs and women might be paid less than men or they might have different opportunities. That's not fair. Sometimes there might be um, things that people say, well, that's a man's job. And that's not fair. It could be a, it's a job that could be done by absolutely anybody. So we need to make sure that we've got fair opportunities for boys and girls so that we all are treated fairly. OK, let's have a think. Number six, global goal six, clean water and sanitation. So Earth Cubs believe everyone should have clean water. We love having clean water to drink. We should all have fresh drinking water, apart from this narwhal who likes his salty because he lives in the sea. OK. Why does water have to be clean? Why does water have to be clean? Talk with your partner. That's right. Water has to be clean because if it's not, you can be poorly. It can make you feel quite poorly if your water isn't clean. There will be germs in it and they will get into your tummy and they will give you all sorts of problems. If you wash your hands in water that isn't clean, then Basically, you're just making your hands dirty again, putting germs on your hands. So it's really important that we have that clean water. And not everybody in the world does. Okay, There sometimes isn't enough water. So um, charities uh, build pumps in villages so they can have supplies of water. Some people have to walk a really, really long way to get their water. Not everybody has a tap that they can turn on, like this uh, lucky girl in, in the photo. Right, let's have a look. Number seven, global goal seven, affordable clean energy. Earth Cubs believe in clean energy. Put your hand up if you've got something like this on your roof. If you've got solar panels on your roof of your house. That's really exciting because it's energy that's provided by, uh, by the sun. And wind energy is super cool. It's clean. Now put your hand up if you've seen those big wind turbines on the hills like this. You might see them on the hills where it's high up. You might see them out at sea. And that's amazing. That is really, really cool because it's that free energy. And it means that we're not uh, burning coal in factories and things like that. Right. Global goal eight, work and economic growth. Earth Cups want to work hard. And it's about having jobs. 
having um, jobs to do, but actually trying your best as well. So you can't go out and earn money. You can't become a teacher yet. You can when you're older. But it's about working hard now. I work really hard as a head teacher. All of your teachers work really hard in school to teach you and to give you exciting things to do. You can work really hard right now. That's the thing. You can work really, really hard right now. So have a think about a time when you found something tricky, but you didn't give up. You were resilient. And tell somebody in the classroom, tell your teacher or tell somebody else or tell the rest of the class. What did you do that was difficult, but you did it? OK, so well done for everybody who came up with those ideas, because it is hard to do some of this stuff, but you did it. So you're amazing. And if you practice working hard, if it becomes what you do all the time, then when you get older, you will have a good job and you will um, be able to earn lots of money because you'll be used to working hard. Right. Global goal nine, industry, innovation and infrastructure. Oh, that's complicated. So we've got an idea from our fox here. Let's find out what the fox says. He says, let's be smart and invent ways to help the planet. So it's about inventing things. It's about having all sorts of things that will improve our future. So why do we need to think of new ways to help the planet? In fact, I've even told you about a new way to help the planet in the assembly already. I wonder if anybody spotted it. That's right, it was that solar panel or the wind farm. Now, 20 years ago, they didn't exist, but they've been invented as a new way to help save the planet, to help the planet with, um, with cheaper and with more environmentally friendly sources of fuel. That's pretty amazing that you've got that and that's been invented. What are you going to invent? What might you invent that would be a really good way to help people? I'm sure there's lots and lots of ideas. So there's lots of things that you've got at home that people have invented that make the place better. OK, so I think there's somebody at our school who is going to be amazing. They are going to do such a fantastic job to create something wonderful that is going to help the world. I wonder if it's going to be you. Let's have a think. Right, Global Goal 10, reduced inequalities. Earth Cubs believe the world and everyone in it is equal. We've got a fist bump. And you've got a whole range of people here. Different uh, looks, different abilities, um, different beliefs. It doesn't matter. We know that everyone is welcome at Wincham. It doesn't matter whether you are a boy or a girl whether your skin is a different colour, whether you're a different religion, uh, whether you're gay or lesbian or uh, bisexual or transgender or whatever, we just don't care. You can come to Wincham. OK, we'll have everybody here. So do you think everybody should be equal? Or do you think some people should be better than others or treated differently to others? What do you think? OK, have that talk. Okay, Lots to think about. OK, I think everybody should be equal. I think we need to make sure that we treat everybody the same, give everybody the same chances. So global goal 11, sustainable cities and communities. Earth Cubs believe in working together to create a sustainable future. So we've got things like what can you recycle from your rubbish? OK, that's a good question. We know that um, things like your school fleece is made of recycled plastic. OK, there's ways that you can help your commu community. So this links into the idea of food banks that we talked about last week. OK, so here's a question. Why is it important that you feel safe? Why is it important that you feel safe? Because feeling safe is about that uh, city, that community where you live. It's important that you feel safe where you are. So our PCSOs, our police officers, are helping us with a sustainable community. People who pick litter at the side of the road are helping with a sustainable community. 
Mrs. Hodgkinson, who stands on the uh, crossing with uh, her lollipop and stops the traffic, is helping with a sustainable community. Okay, and everybody's working together to make it a safe place to be. Right, moving on, number 12, Global Goal 12, consumption and production. Earth Cubs believe you should only use what you need. Be smarter, try not to use single use plastic. And that's really important. So rather than going to Costa and having one of their disposable cups, you might take your cup with you and put it in a reusable mug. Um, you might only buy the things that you need at the supermarket, not waste the food. But what would happen if everybody took more than they needed? Have a think. If everybody at the supermarket bought more food than they needed, or just recently in the news, we've seen buying more petrol than they, they needed, what would happen? There's lots of thoughts there. There's not going to be enough to go around, is there? And there'd be loads more waste. Loads more waste. Even things like carrier bags. So in Kenya, they've banned um, single-use carrier bags. You can't, you, you can't use them at all to make sure that they can get rid of their problems with, uh, with some of the rubbish and some of the uh, waste. But it's a fantastic idea. And now in shops, it costs to buy a carrier bag. They're not giving them away for free. So we use more um, of the uh, bags for life and that sort of thing. Right, nearly there. Global Goal 13. Earth Cubs care about climate change. I love this picture. It's so cool. Look at the side of the building. And if you walk past um, Asda in Northwich and you can see the uh, living wall on the side of the building opposite with all those plants, it's really, really good. I really like that. So stopping climate change to save the planet. We've got the mouse who's saying walk and ride your bike wherever you can. I've never seen a mouse uh, riding a bike, but, you know, there's a first time for everything. What do you do to help save the planet? That's a question. So talk in your class. What do you do to help save the planet? Right. Put your hands up if you recycle stuff. Okay, that's really good. Well done. Put your hands up if you buy things locally that have been grown locally from small shops, not from big supermarkets. Okay, so you're buying food that hasn't travelled a long way. Put your hands up if you grow your own food, uh, food in the garden, or uh, parents or family do. Put your hands up if you have a compost bin. Okay. There's loads and loads of these sorts of things. And there's loads and loads of little ideas. So in the past, I've talked about um, having a bit of a wildlife garden. And I've got my wildlife garden at home. I've got my bug hotel uh, where the insects will stay. I've got my pond, which has brought some uh, bats into the garden. I've got my bird feeders. And I saw um, a magpie on the bird feeder this morning. So I'm starting to do a little, little bit just to change the area where I live. Okay, We can all do that little bit. Right, global goal 14, life below water. Earth cubs look after the seas and everything in it. Rubbish can end up in our oceans, and which can hurt our walrus's friends. So we know that some of these goals are linked together because we talked about life, uh, about um, not using single-use plastics, and those two global goals are linked here. So here's a question. Can you look after the sea if you don't live near it? How could you do that? Because you can't go out to the seaside and clean it. We're too far away. Right. I wonder if you've got some ideas. And actually, I kind of gave you the answer uh, with that one because a lot of rubbish ends up in the sea. If you have single-use carrier bags, they can end up in the sea if they're uh, dumped in the sea. So the less waste that you have, the less pollution we have, the better... Um, the sea creatures' lives will be. Global goal 15, life on land. Earth cubs look after all living things. So here we go. Uh, just like I uh, mentioned, uh, Book Hotel. And I'm, that's a really clever idea, actually. I've not thought of that one, but it looks like it's a, it's a bit, bits of newspaper rolled up into tiny, tiny things and then wrapped around to keep them tight. So Book Hotel and actually made out of rubbish. And that's exactly what mine is. Um, so my book hotel is old scraps of wood, some old pallets, 
and um, a couple of old bricks. And tomorrow I'm going for a walk in Delamere Forest and I'm going to collect pine cones and I'm going to put those in my book hotel as well. So what could you do to protect animals, trees and plants? Have a think about your ideas. And we might think about not chopping things down. We might think about supporting thing, uh, charities like the Woodland Trust. Um, or about thinking about growing some of these things. So instead of having um, a patio with just concrete all over your garden, you could have a lawn, you could have a flower bed. And even if you do have a patio with things all over your garden, there's no reason at all why you couldn't say to mum and dad, look, why don't I grow a little patio pot and it'll have some flowers in it and be lovely. And you're making a change, a small change. We all make these small differences and it has a big, big impact. Right, Global Goal 16. I think this is really important. Earth Cubs want a fair and peaceful world. We're all different and we are all the same. So we look after each other and make the world a better place. And actually, if we work together with this, we will achieve these global goals. OK, and we look at number 17, Earth Cubs work together. Now, uh, a few years ago, uh, Mrs. Webb and I, and uh, Mr. Webb and um, uh, Mr. Burroughs uh, went out to Kenya and we spent some time at Najuro Primary School. And Mrs. Webb and I were teaching a lesson to some of the children. And we gave them out all the global goals and said, put them all in order uh, of how important you think they are. And some of the younger children said things like zero hunger because. They, they didn't have enough food to go around. And I was talking to one of the children who said that partnerships for the goals was the most important global goal. I said, but why, why is that? If you haven't got enough food or water, surely you need that so that then you can do all of those things. And, and she said to me that if we don't work together, we're never going to achieve these goals. So as soon as we start to work together, we'll be able to help the environment. And if we help the environment, then we will have jobs and we will have good health and well-being and we will have enough food because we'll work together to do it. And I think that's really important. That really stuck with me. I think that's such an important thing to remember that we need to work together so that we can do these things. And like I said, you might have just what your one patio pot that's got one tomato plant in it next summer but you will be working towards uh, the global goals. You can't save the environment on your own. You can do it with everybody else. So 2030, 2030, the global goals have the power to create a better world by 2030. That's the aim, is that the global goals, we will achieve these global goals by the year 2030, and it's 2021 now. So we could work together to achieve these goals. We've got nine more years to do it. And I think we can. I think we're doing things in school that make it that show everybody how important the global goals are. Okay, so I want to see if you can think of your ways to make the world a better place by uh, 2030. I think we can all pull together to do that. I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I think you're going to have lots and lots of really interesting. Uh, lessons this week. I think you're going to learn lots about the global goals and how important they are. And I look forward to talking to you about it as you spend the rest of the week in school doing all this cool stuff. Have a lovely day today, guys, and I'll see you around. Bye bye.